welcome to Swansworth Honda Bolton. Here's a quick video tour of our brand new Honda CRV Sportline. So coming around on the front of this vehicle, you will find full LED headlights and you will also find parking sensors. Alongside this, because the vehicle is now a hybrid, you'll also have the Honda hybrid badge on the front and the rear of the vehicle. As you come around, you'll find that the vehicle is finished in crystal black and you do have the Sportline Plus pack. So you do have a few different bits and bobs on here, such as the lower runners, which you can see. And alongside that, you do have a rear spoiler alongside a few other bits. Taking a look at the alloys now, they are 18 inch alloys and do look great on this car. They do match the color scheme perfectly. And as we look down the side of the vehicle now, you'll notice you do have rear privacy glass. Taking a look now at the rear. Again, you'll find parking sensors back here, just like the front alongside a reversing camera and you do have some badging so you do have CRV and EHEV. So I'll go ahead and open the boot for you now. You will find plenty of room in this boot as it is a large and spacious SUV. You do have a nice load cover just here for you to pull across and all in all there's plenty of room in this boot. And now I'll show you the rear seat. So in the rear now, you'd have a really nice full leather interior. So the centre seat does fold down as an armrest and will reveal two cup holders, as you can see. You can just tuck away nice and neat. So you'd have seating for three, but the two outer seats are equipped with Isofix mounting points. So you can have two child seats in the back at once. Now looking in between the two front seats, you'll find climate control for the rear passengers alongside two USB ports. If we take a step back, you can see you do have a generous amount of legroom with a good amount of headroom. Moving on to the front now where you'll find a nice leather multifunction steering wheel. So on the left, you'll find controls here for your infotainment and the screen located just behind the steering wheel. Whereas on the right, you'll find your cruise control. Coming rightward, you'll find a few different buttons here. So the top one, you do have your power or your start stop button. And beneath that, you do have a few different controls, including your parking sensors and your traction control. Taking a look at the door, you'll find various controls here. So you do have your electric power folding mirror controls, central locking, and your full electric windows. And alongside this, you'll find some really nice branded CRV door sills. Now these are on all the four sills and do add to the look of a vehicle. As you can see, you do have these really nice leather seats in the front, which grip you on the left and right hand side. Very nice. So moving on to the interior now, because it is a brand new vehicle, you do have just six miles on the clock. And now by using the controls on the steering wheel, which I mentioned, you can navigate through various different pages of information on here. Some of the highlights include your satellite navigation, your audio, and also your Bluetooth information. If we come across to the left now and take a look at the central infotainment screen. So this is your home page. from here. You can choose your navigation like so and you can also use the shortcuts on the side so you do have bluetooth alongside apple carplay and android auto and if i put the vehicle into reverse now you can see reversing camera activates like so with two different reversing views alongside a top down view and you've got your parking sensor display just on the right there coming down from here now you'll find your climate control this is really easy to use and operate especially whilst driving and if you want to customize your climate control further Pressing the climate button and returning to the screen will present you with a screen here with further options. So beneath that is where you'll find your gear selector, which is very easy to use. Just push the buttons for what gear you'd like to be in. And on the left, you do have your different drive modes with sport, economy, and EV mode. Beneath that, you'll find a few different ports. So on the left, you'll find a USB. And on the right, another USB. However, the one on the left is preferred for your phone. Beneath that, you've got a storage cubby for your phone, alongside two cup holders. And beneath that, you do have a cubby here, which if you push back, if you take a look inside, it might be tough to tell in the video, but it's quite deep. And you've also got a power outlet in there. I hope you found this brief video tour useful. If you'd like further information on this vehicle, or would like to inquire, please do not hesitate to get in contact with us at Swansway Honda Bolton. That's on 01204 827 906. Thank you and have a good day.